from a motherfucking other day. What they say, man? What they say? Oh, what they say? What he say? What he say? He said, see y'all do 50 million and 5% stock in Yeezy. And I don't know if you know, Yeezy's at 1.7 billion. Nigga, nigga should have got a $50 million check for a nigga. A world nigga. Hold on. I gotta ask the question. Is South Philly in this motherfucker? Call they phone like yes, that hate If he bust downs and clutch on poles, he lost a man I be fucking this NBA nigga, bitch, you know I ain't never gonna say shit Now on my top, so nigga, what you won't do? I'm with some niggas with no name, when you say something, they like, ooh Don't know who I want, you the one I want What up, gang? I'm watching another one, you already know what it is Hit that like button, subscribe If you're not subscribed, turn on your post notification If you don't know, Kanye West went on Drink Champs and you know what I'm saying he was lit. He was lit. Every it seemed like every ten minutes was a, a viral moment where it's been reposted all over social media. And uh, if you don't know, he's Kanye is is known for name dropping. Like he name dropped. I think they they had like they counted on drink champs. They had to count in the cone. I think it was like forty eight different people he name dropped in the interview. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Beanie Siegel was one of the ones he name dropped in. He told us some things that we never knew and we never even would have imagined. Uh, Beanie Siegel named Kanye Yeezy back in the day. He named him that name Yeezy. Beanie Siegel made up that name Yeezy. And Kanye ran with that every since. Like a lot of people don't know. Kanye used to hang and run with Beanie Siegel and, and, and State Property and them. You know what I'm saying? And Siegel was the one that made sure Kanye was straight, like, you know, not looked over. You know what I'm saying? And he gave him that name, Yeezy. He gave him that name, Yeezy. And as you know, you know, uh, Yeezy is a billion dollar company. You know what I'm saying? You already know. So... He went on Drink Champs and he said he want to pay Beanie Siegel back for giving him that name. You know what I'm saying? That that name worth a billion dollars, a couple billion dollars. So uh, Beanie Siegel went to the club after the interview and say Kanye gave him $50 million and 5% of stock in Yeezy. You know what I'm saying? 50 million and 5% of stock in Yeezy. Now, let me tell you how big this is. And I ain't pocket watching. And I don't really know. But just from the outside looking in, what shit? Well, I ain't gonna, like, I'm gonna keep it like that. Y'all know I keep it one on one. You know what I'm saying? 6K, I don't, I only speak the truth. If I don't know, I tell y'all I don't know. But I don't know. But from the outside looking in, I'm not saying. I'm pretty sure Siegel is far from broke, but he 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 was far from being comfortable where he wanna be and what he should have been if he would have never been getting in trouble and and you know what I'm saying, been, you know, everything he been going through. So um that fifty million right there was a blessing. I know that for a fact was a blessing and that five percent a start in Yeezy was a blessing because I know Benny Siegel financially. I'm not saying he was broke, but what I'm saying is financially, I know he wasn't in a space that he felt he should have been in and that he wanted to be in. You feel what I'm saying? But that right there is like a, that's a good help. Like, that's a, that's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all you can say, that's a blessing from him. And he was happy as hell because that boy went to the club and he had to get on the mic and tell everybody. And, when, and while, while I'm watching that video, it just gave me that feeling of a hood nigga got some good news or accomplished something and just want everybody to know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could tell 
his reaction was genuine and it felt good to him. You know what I'm saying? And Ye is a real nigga for that. Kanye a real nigga. Cause get what? Kanye ain't have to get out but none. Kanye ain't have to give him none. But see, a lot of times, when you keep it real like that in situations like that with real people like Beanie Siegel, that shit go a long way. Don't you know Beanie Siegel will ride and die for Kanye right now no matter what? He just changed that boy's life. And everybody around him going to do the same because just like he changed Beanie Siegel's life, not Benny Siegel is able to help everybody that's around him. So I salute. That's why when it comes to these rappers that's come from the streets, why they click become so notorious because they got the money now. And they taking care of these people that was doing things for them for free. Now they getting paid to do it. I got a homie here. If anybody disrespect, he'll blow their brains out for free. But now I can get him a bag. I can pay his rent. I could give him enough money to take care of him and his family. That nigga, he, he wishing and he hoping a bitch do something to a nigga so he could put it in work. You feel what I'm saying? It, it just, when, you, when, they, when they got that bag, it's a little different. You know what I'm saying? A nigga put their life on the line for you because they know you got that bag. So Yeezy giving that money to Benny Siegel just extended a long hand, which Ye ain't into, you know, I ain't no, I don't think nobody trying to do nothing to Ye, but just, I'm just saying, period. You know what I'm saying? Just thinking of alliance thinking and war thinking, like, just Ye extending that hand and breaking him off doing what he did. Ye forever good in Philly. Ye forever good in Philly. And I salute Ye. A lot of people think Ye crazy. Ye tripping Ye this and that. Man, that man smart as a motherfucker, man. That man smart as a motherfucker. And one thing about him, don't give a damn how nobody feel about him. That man smart as a motherfucker. And everything he do and say that people don't agree with, he got good cause and a good reason for it. From the way he see things in life. You feel what I'm saying? Like y'all got to realize he got a lot of backlash for aside with Trump. But you got to think about it. The people that's, a lot of people that was going against him and, and, and dishing out backlash was Pope. Middle class. Trump is not doing nothing for the middle class. Trump is looking out for the rich people. Kanye is rich. Yeah, he's black. He's supposed to do, but you got to think about his life and his, you know what I'm saying? What he got going on. You know, a lot of rappers were saying that shit. Trump was trying, Trump lowered taxes and all this, uh, t uh, taxes and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because Trump is rich. You, you think about before President Trump was the biggest one of the biggest entrepreneurs and all the rappers used to rap about the money like Trump and all this shit. Trump is a real finesse when it comes to the to the money and and schemes and all this other shit. So Trump gonna look out for the rich. Trump was not a president for the poor. So Kanye fit in that category. Trump is the, was the better component uh, opponent. To go with. A lot of rich people voted for Trump. Because he brought a lot to the table. For the rich people. He he wasn't for the poor people. He he wasn't doing it for the poor people. He might say it to get y'all vote. But he wasn't he wasn't the president for the poor people. Or middle class. He was a president for the rich. And yeah is rich. So I understand why he put on that hat. Everybody was mad at him for putting on that hat. But I understand. You got to understand you know what I'm saying? Y'all be looking at people life from the outside looking in and just be judging. You don't know what the fuck going on. You don't know what the fuck going on. Y'all got to really, man, y'all got to really, before y'all jump to conclusions, y'all got to really 
sit back and just break down the situation and try to think why. Ye is a fucking genius, man. Ye is a genius. And I salute that boy. Gang.